Your Tacoma doesn't need a pro grill to look awesome. Good morning, everybody. How are you today? Pretty good here, and that's right. Your Tacoma doesn't need the TRD Pro Grill or the TRD Style Pro Grill to look awesome. Now, you're probably wondering, well, who am I to say that? Well, let me tell you, I am a multi-model or multi-year Toyota Tacoma owner, and I have had the TRD Pro Style Grill on two or three different trucks. And recently, I decided to go back to the OEM style grill. You know, the original grill that came on the truck. You know, they changed the grill style for the 2020. And I gotta say, it's pretty darn cool. There's no need to have a pro style grill to look awesome. Or for your Tacoma to look awesome. I'm not sure how it's gonna make you look, but I think the truck looks awesome with just a couple of touches and the OEM grill. Now, we can take a look at it. Let's, uh, let's have a seat here. You guys can see it here behind me in all of its glory. If you don't know, as I mentioned, I had the TRD Pro Grill on there for quite a while. That was one of the first mods that I wanted to do for the truck, right? So I ripped off my original grill, I sold it. That was a stupid mistake, but somebody got a good grill out there. I sold it and I put the Pro Style Grill on, but now I, I have the OEM. I went back, I bought another one, so that was a wash, I guess, and put this thing on. Now, I say there are a couple of things that you need to do as well, right? First of all, I muted the badge. When I say I muted it, I put a, a tent over it, if you will, kind of a car wrap. And uh, it came out pretty good. I think it looks pretty good, especially from a distance. Uh, but I put the wrap over it to just dull out that chrome finish on the badge because I got to be honest, part of my motivation or most of my motivation for putting the Pro Grill on was that chrome emblem in the front, right? I didn't like that. I didn't want that. But since kind of thinking of doing this tent to the front, I have solved that problem. It's more of a muted chrome. And I know it's still chrome, but it's not bright, shiny chrome, right? So that's the first thing. Secondly, the light bar. You guys can see the light bar. It's pretty predominant down there, right? Because it's chrome, but it's a light bar. So that's okay. It gets a pass because it's a light bar, right? But it looks awesome on the front of the truck and it serves a purpose. You know, when you're coming home late at night, you're pulling up to your driveway or your garage or whatever, and you really want to blast it with light because you can't see, that hope it happens when you advance in age a little bit. Not, not that that's me, but I'm, I'm just saying. Anyway, you flip the switch and that thing brightens up. I'm going to show you what the front end looks like in a few minutes here before we're done. But you flip that on, it brightens everything up. It's like daylight outside. Plus, it just looks cool on the front of the truck um, without even being lit up. I mean, look, it looks awesome. Now, the third thing is the Raptor, or R, the Raptor lights, Raptor style lights across the front. And I hate even saying that because as soon as you mention the word Raptor, everybody accuses you of trying to create a Raptor. Not so for me. I'm trying to create a look that I like. Just so happens Ford had a great idea when they put those lights in the front of the Raptor grill, right? It looks awesome. I love it. So you put those in and you can get them in amber or you can get them in white. I wanted them in amber because I just think they look better. I don't know. White's not bad either. Depends on personal preference, I guess. Either way, they look awesome. And they really beam when you're going down the road to light them up, right? Now, the other thing I like about staying with the OEM grill and the lights across the top is you can get these brackets out there now, right? There are companies, and I made a video about this. There's a fella on Etsy, Ed. You can check out that video. I'll give you the name and all that stuff over there. But he makes brackets that go in this grill. They snap in. Goes right across the front, four lights, just like I had. You wouldn't even have to do four. You could configure it however you want. Just don't put the other two in or buy individual lights, whatever you want to do. But the system is awesome. Makes it very, very simple to put lights in the front of the truck. 
The, the fourth, I guess this is a bonus reason, is to kind of be unique. You know, the community, our community, the Tacoma community is so saturated with pro grills that they're almost stacked. Everybody puts a pro grill on the front of their truck now, right? I mean, they're no longer unique, they're everywhere. And I wanted to create something that was unique and had my own touch to it, right? Now I know some are gonna say, well, yeah, but other people have lights in there and people have light bars, but they don't have it set up exactly the same way I do, right? I haven't seen a lot of tinted emblems. I'm starting to see some. I've seen emblems that are completely blacked out. I've seen emblems that have different emblems on the front, if you will, different sayings. You can get custom things, whatever. But I gotta be honest, for me, again, this is personal preference. I think it looks best to still show the Toyota emblem just to mute the chrome a little bit. So it gives you a unique look. And that's something I think is pretty darn cool. And this is pretty simple to do, right? When you bought your truck, unless you bought a TRD Pro, it came with this grill. You know, the TRD Pro style grills are not cheap. You're gonna spend anywhere from probably, and this is for an OEM version, if you can put your hands on one, anywhere from four to six or even $700 for that. Between that and the little garnish that covers up the sensor. And while we're speaking about the sensor, you know, another advantage to doing this is you're not changing the location of the sensor. Some people have had troubles with that, right? They've moved the sensor location to put it in the pro-style grill, and then they have lights showing up on their dash. Those aren't the kind of lights that you want, right? You don't have to worry about that when you do this because you're not changing the original location of the sensor. And let me add, I haven't had any issues with that yet, so fingers crossed we don't have any problems there. Now, let me pause for just a second. I'm gonna flip the truck on. I'm gonna show you what the front end looks like lit up because I think that is the best part. Okay, we obviously have the truck on. I'm being blinded right now by the light. Glad I have sunglasses on. But I wanted to show you what these look like with the headlights on, so that's why they're on. I have the Trigger 4 wireless system so I can sit out here and activate the lights. There's plenty of videos about this if you're interested in checking that system out, so I'm not gonna go into it, but let's go ahead and hit the light bar. <laughs> that, it's like, I can feel the heat. It's like getting a suntan right now sitting in front of this thing. I wouldn't wanna stare into it. Let's turn it off. Okay, we're back to just the regular headlights. Let's go to the front lights or the Raptor style lights, I guess, in this case. They're pretty bright as well, although not as bright as what they would be if it were dark or without those bright lights shining on us right now in the garage. Let's do the whole nine yards. Here's the light bar too. There you go. A beaming beacon of light coming from my Toyota Tacoma. Now I'm gonna turn everything back off and then I'm gonna shut the headlights off and I'll show you these lights without the headlights on. Okay, there you go. There's the look once again without any lights on. Let's go ahead and turn the Raptor style lights on. And this would be kind of like if you're just driving around without the headlights on, right? Or the daytime running lights. There you go. That's the look that you're gonna get in the front with just the Raptor style lights on. Kind of accentuates the badge a little bit, right? Pretty awesome. Turn that off. Let's go ahead and hit the uh, light bar across the front. Again, very, very bright. You wouldn't even need headlights on to, to operate those. And then let's go ahead and turn the Raptor lights on again. You can see they do show up there as well. Go ahead and turn that light bar off. And that's the look that you get driving around. I can't stress enough how bright these amber lights are. Pretty awesome look, in my opinion. So there you have it. I think it looks awesome this way. And there really is no reason to put the TRD Pro style grill on the front of the Tacoma to make it look awesome. Because it can look awesome just like this. Leave a comment, let me know what you think. Do you like it this way? Or do you prefer the TRD Pro style grill? I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, if you're interested, I have two additional channels. The first is Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator with a little bit of Wrangler thrown in. And also Rob Motive Civic about my experiences with the Honda Civic Type R and the Honda Civic Sport Hatch. 
Check them out. And if you're interested, why the heck wouldn't you subscribe? Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.